I'm Zach. I'm Malik. I'm Brandon. And this is a not as obscure game as some of the other ones we've done. This is Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, and we're actually playing on a GameCube. We're actually playing it on a GameCube because I just found my old GameCube, and after I did, we were just really excited to play this. And I was like, hey, I should do an LP of this, so yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be playing this game. So. Yep, Alex going to be the one playing it for us. And we also have with us... Brandon. Could you at least sound a little bit more excited? <laughs> <laughs> Those crows are like, hey, man, I don't know. Do you think we should go in that mansion? Do you think we should tell him? Nah, let him find out on his own. <laughs> but yes, uh, can I just start this off by saying this game is still graphically pretty impressive? This game is still pretty good looking for a game that came out, like, what, 2001? Like... Yeah, I believe so. That's yeah, what it says on here, anyway. Yeah. Luigi's model still looks a little jagged in that shot, but when you get into the real game, it actually looks quite smooth, and in, in general, yes, this game holds up quite well. So this guess, is better than Super Mario Sunshine. Cough, cough. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was made, as many people know, as a, a tech demo to show off the GameCube's capabilities. It was sh as an E3 demo, and then it uh, became a full-fledged game, and it kind of got tossed to the side for a lot of people, but it's gained a cult following over the past couple of years. Which, um, I'm I'm part of that cult following. When I first heard of this game, I thought it was going to be like Nintendo's take on survival horror, and I immediately dismissed it. Yeah. And then and then our cousin ended up getting it. I forget what tempted me to play. I think it was just watching him play and was like, this actually looks good. And then I tried it, and yeah, I, I actually had more fun with this than Super Mario Sunshine. But... I think watching you play actually made me want to play it too, and then I got really into it, like but yeah, shall we actually start the game now? Because yeah. we're uh, about two minutes in and we haven't started yet. Alright, yeah, I'm going to uh, click new game then. Damn it, the yeah. intro does play! <laughs> okay, um... I told you so! <laughs> yeah, I should have guessed that. Uh, should I skip Just it? Just skip it. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Because this is where it would have taken us. Yeah. Uh, my experience with this game is that I, I had a friend that was linking... This was the same friend that uh, introduced me to Kingdom Hearts. Uh... I was interested in Super Mario Sunshine, I had played Galaxy, really loved Galaxy, and I wanted uh, more exposure to Mario, and uh, he, he told me to borrow this, and he also told me to borrow Luigi's Mansion, and I was kind of skeptical of that. So I uh, used my Wii, I played Super Mario Sunshine, I uh, grew bored of it within the first couple worlds, and then I went to a Luigi's Mansion and became very addicted to it. So uh, uh, yes, viewers, you can uh, hate me too, along with Zach. Bring in all the hate. <laughs> And Alec, too. That I do indeed think this game is, uh, for me anyway, was more enjoyable than Mario Sunshine, when obviously Sunshine was the one that had all the effort put into it compared to this one. Well, like, uh. for a tech demo, which does a really good job of showing off the tech, it's also got a lot of charm and personality to it. It really does. Yeah, like... Like, so I love this moment where you pick up something. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, bitches. <laughs> All right, then I have to go upstairs. Individual fingers. This game is this game is a revolutionary for its time. <laughs> and plus, you could twirl upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> That's amazing. Luigi bolts a task. And I'm not gonna lie, this scared me when I was younger. I don't know why. These little Just because, these little build-up scenes. Yeah, because like it it put it it's so out of place because you I just didn't expect the game to view in like that and it is show him opening the door. Actually, like not that. just that. Uh, as you're going to hear, Alec and I are, like, huge pussies. <laughs> it's really well animated. I especially love that little uh, quiver his hand does before it grabs the doorknob. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually wasn't very scared by this game, although I'll admit, as much as I love the theme, for some reason it still has this atmosphere yeah. that, like, kind of creeps me out to this day. And I don't know why, like, it's not scary, but at the same time, it, like, my childhood memories remember it as being scary. Speaking of scary, keep those paintings in mind. Oh, yeah. And now here we see... An old coot. An old coot with uh, swirly glasses. He's getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. He retires tomorrow. <laughs> and it's Professor Egad. Yep, uh, he's also the inventor of Flood in Super Mario Sunshine. So there is actually kind of some connection between this and Sunshine. My exposure to Egad was actually... Uh, he was also an inventor in Partners in Time of the Mario and Luigi series. Oh yeah, that that's another series oh, yeah. we should get to. Maybe not Partners in Time. Well, <laughs> I, probably not Partners in Time. Well, I mean, we're probably going to have to do that if we want to do all the games. But you see those orange ghosts? They're actually not booze. Were the booze? Mm, wait. You gotta wait. 
be patient. They'll be coming. Uh, by by coming, it will probably be a couple hours or so. But yeah, they'll they'll come in. You'll see. Yeah, well, I don't even think it'll be a couple hours. Like if uh, Alec, I, if Alec does this quick enough, it might even just be an hour, if even that. If I remember how to do stuff, because I kind of have a tendency for getting things, and then I, I, I'll, I'll be, be like, able to remind you. Yeah, or like you, you, you might have to edit out some things, so because I might just end up like, oh, oh crap, like where am I supposed to go? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Uh, so yeah, this, he's basically talking about how Mario was kidnapped, and yeah, this time it was Mario who was kidnapped, not yeah. Peach. <laughs> Mario gets to be on the other side. Who do you think actually sent Luigi that invitation? My theory is it was probably the booze, so they were luring him in to be trapped like his brother. That's what I was getting at, but isn't it like in most of the Mario games, like everyone only cares about Mario than Luigi? Everyone's just like, Luigi, fuck it, he's not gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the first game that truly gave Luigi his personality, I would say. I mean, I, yeah, his character he, he was there in the earlier games, but this was more of the of the you know sort of uh, scared but loyal personality that would come out in you know like in uh, other interpretations of him. From from what very very little I could stand of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, he he actually had a cowardice persona there, but I wouldn't say he was as loyal and as I remember. But actually, believe it or not, his uh, I'm not sure Brandon knows this, but I think I showed Alec this. Uh, there is actually a Super Mario Brothers anime movie. It's very, very obscure. It's oh, like it is, it's yeah. like the first animation of it. It was Japanese only, and it's extremely rare. Luigi was actually a greedy bastard in that movie. <laughs> so this one actually yeah. combines the Super Mario Brothers Super Show with the very, very old Mario animated movie. I've uh, yeah, I've never actually heard of that. I, of course, like most people, I have seen the Super Mario Brothers movie though. I have I haven't actually seen the live action movie. I don't know what he's like in that one. I don't think he's a scaredy cat in that one though. No, no, he's. I don't know how he would really describe it. his Butchered. personality. <laughs> he's about the same as Mario's characters in that movie. <laughs> butchered. Uh, not really butchered, just. Well, then again, I guess they didn't really have a personality it's, at that it's point. It's been a while. I don't actually hate that movie really at all. It's it it, ha it has quite a charm to it, and it was just sort of hated upon because it was called the Super Mario Bros. movie. Ah, oh, I was trying to get two at the same time. You can actually do that. Yeah, this was a really neat mechanic, the idea of having to pull the stick in the opposite direction to lure it in. It's kind of like an actual fun fishing minigame. <laughs> 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 but yeah, basically, you shine the light on the ghost by surprise, its heart appears, and then you have to vacuum it. And once you get its health to, like, uh... Like, they'll have, like, different ghosts has different, uh... Amount health, of health meters, yeah. Yeah. And once you get it to zero, you capture them. So it'd be like... It's actually, I I don't, I sometimes find the light finicky. Is it just me? Uh, like, sometimes I'll shine it on them, but it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really work properly sometimes. Like, it's not ever really that oh, big of an go. issue. Oh, wow. You can do that, by the Good way. Good job, Alec. It's really hard, nice. but you can do it. I wouldn't put it past Sega to copy, uh, as we've seen in the past with like Sonic Lost World copying Galaxy, I wouldn't put it past Sega to copy uh, Nintendo's ideas, which they've been tagging on, you know, since the beginning. So uh, maybe in a few years we'll uh, get a 3DS game called a Biggs Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, does it, is it actual like still a fishing stick though? <laughs> uh, maybe. And then you press the A button to say, Froggy? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Froggy. Where are you? Why are there angel statues? Yeah, I always thought this was weird. Also, they turn transparent when you walk behind them. But yeah, this is the gallery room, and this is where, like, if you capture the main ghosts from, from this game, you can, I Ooh. guess, look at their pictures in this gallery. That's kind of creepy how the wings flap. Yeah. I may be... I think you have to interact with it, and then, like, a few seconds later, I should do it. I think you have to do it from the front. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. Come on, baby. Flap those wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi, stop it! It's inappropriate. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I may Super be... Mario blasphemy. <laughs> I may be jumping the gun bit. Uh, I may be jumping the gun here a bit by talking about the sequel. But uh, if there's one thing the sequel, I feel like, kind of drops the ball on, it doesn't have what we're going to see here pretty soon as the portrait ghosts, which are the main ghosts you have to capture. Then you put them in the paintings. I don't know, there's something about the portrait ghosts that really connected me with this game. Cause I like games with an emphasis on boss battles, and while you don't and while I can't really say the portrait ghosts are all 
feel like a boss battle. They all felt unique and had their own sort of story to them. Yeah. And I felt like that just added more personality to the game and just made me really interested to see more of it. I think they had, like, backstories too, didn't they? Or yeah. Not backstories, but, like... Some this... of them did. Or they um, had some explanation. Or some sort of, yeah, subtle explanation by if you go into, like, the room, you'll see little details. Um... But I guess you could call them bosses in the sense that they require more strategy than the typical ghost, as in, you know, they're all their own puzzles that you have to figure out before you can suck them in. Which a lot of them are pretty creative and pretty fun to deal with. Why is it that of all the things, Peach sends Toads before she sends Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> right, you made my dark and stormy night, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You made my dark and stormy night, Luigi! I thought we promised no toad voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do it, but mine's probably more annoying. Well, you just focus on the game there, young man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. I still think I that looks good today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just the way that like gets sucked into the vacuum. This game has and... a lot of uh, f f physics uh, to show off, especially when you start getting like dollar bills later on. <laughs> You can actually suck up those candles, but they don't actually yeah, make the room darker. Yeah, they don't really do much, like... So yes, we have coins here, and you will be seeing a lot of different types of money throughout this game, and depending on how much money you have by the end determines, um, I guess your ending, but it's it doesn't really change the ending of the game so much as, uh, you'll see. It just see. shows you what... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. Fun fact, uh, there was actually supposed to be kind of a bad ending with this game. There's oh, supposed yeah. to be a time limit. If you fail to do this game within the time limit, Mario would actually get stuck in the painting. I think that was that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's actually there a, a like lot of see like uh, see uh, Luigi's face and he looks all gloomy and it looks really weird. Like I don't remember uh, that, but it's probably right because there was a lot of survival horror elements in the original like betas. I'd have to do some extra research just to make sure this is all true. This is just what I've heard from like Let's Plays. But, yeah, there was a lot of interesting things that, at the same time, I'm kind of glad they didn't keep. Like, especially your ghost vacuum getting full. I'm so glad that's not an actual mechanic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That would be extremely annoying. But a uh, more survival horror elements, that would, uh, I mean, if it would actually improve the atmosphere or the creepiness of the game, I'd be all over that. But, uh, but of course, this is, you know, Nintendo making a game with Mario characters. I wouldn't expect them to... I'm actually surprised they even considered... Like having a dark ending with Mario getting trapped in a painting. Oh, this cutscene scared the shit out of me as a kid, yes, by the way. This was scared me too, like. <laughs> oh yeah, what's that? They will get another... you, booha! Was there also another thing in the beta that if if Luigi got scared, he would get on the ground and start like moving like on like, on his back and like he'd be moving his hands to get away from the ghost and then I, like that, I've like, never heard of that, but again, I will... Oh, I saw a video of it, like, of Luigi, like, falling on his back or something, and then he's, like, trying to, like, escape, and, like, you have to... Like, I don't remember, like, how you get out of it, but... So, what, they were taking a gameplay cue from Illbleed? I, I don't know. Like, Alec doesn't know Illbleed. Oh, no, I've heard of that name before, I just don't remember. It's, it's a weird Dreamcast, quote-unquote, survival horror game. Which, uh, which uh, I may get eventually, and we'll look into that one. <laughs> But anyway, right now, it, it, even though the, the portrait scared the shit out of me as a kid, you don't really do much different here, just suck up the orange ghosts. And the chest appears. Honestly, you were going up a, a much more intimidating amount of ghosts in the tutorial. <laughs> True. Hey, Alex upped up five at the same time in that tutorial. These shit, these ghosts don't mean shit. <laughs> I know I how to... I did beat this game, so... I know how to talk, I swear I do. And this door. I think and you say that door. once a video, Zach. I think I have. <laughs> But yeah, um... Oh my gosh, I never realized there was a reflection of Luigi's hand in the doorknob! Yeah! Yeah, they actually, yeah. I never noticed that! Oh my gosh, the detail in this game right, is that'd extreme. that'd be the last time I'll show that then, because then that'd get really annoying, if you had to constantly see that. Oh yeah, you can skip those, can't you? Yeah, you can. Because yeah. technically, this game has no real loading screens, right? Yeah, I don't think this game has That's loading what, screens, like... I never thought you could skip the doors, because I thought that was the loading screen. Nope, you can actually skip those, I think. Oh, here's the pink one. I could throw punches at you. Well, so could more. the orange ones, but the pink ones are just, like, longer. 